Hello, my friends. God bless each and every one of you. Today is the 25th day of September uh, 2019. It is Wednesday afternoon. I am going to get right into this video because it's going to take me several minutes to read everything that um, I have wrote down here, a couple pages, so I want to get into this. Um, I know you all heard the news today about... Uh, you know, or started yesterday, well, it's been going on actually for three years about impeaching the president, and now it's got the fever pitch, but I want to, I want to read something to you all, I don't know if you know this now, I know this is going to sound unreal, believe me, when I first heard it, I had to go check it out myself, but it's real, because I heard it with my own ears, and seen it with my own eyes, there's a minister who's now passed away, his name is, or was, Reverend Kim Clement. He was a prophet. I didn't know too much about him. I uh, actually didn't know hardly anything about him at all. Uh, but I know he used music to do his prophecy, which I thought was, you know, rather different and kind of neat. But anyways, I want you to listen to something. And I want you to listen to something very closely. Because if you don't believe this, you can go right on the internet and find this. There's articles about it all over the internet. There's videos of him giving this exact prophecy. I actually copied down word for word verbatim of the prophecy that he foretold on April the 4th, 2007. This is pre-Barack Obama. Listen. This that shall take place shall be the most unusual thing a transfiguration, a going into the marketplace, if you wish, into the news media, where Time Magazine will have no choice but to say what I want them to say. Newsweek, what I want them to say. The View, what I want them to say. Trump shall become a trumpet, says the Lord. Trump shall become a trumpet. I will raise up Trump to become a trumpet and Bill Gates to open up the financial realm for the church. For God said, I'll not forget 9-11. I will not forget what happened that day. And I will not forget the gatekeeper that watched over New York, which at that time was Rudy Giuliani. And he will once again... Watch over this nation, says the Spirit of God, and he's the president's lead counsel. It shall come to pass, pay attention to this very closely, it shall come to pass that the man I place in the highest office shall go in whispering my name. But God says when he enters into the office, he will be shouting, by the power of the Holy Spirit. I shall fill him with my spirit. Then there will be a praying man in your highest office. A praying president. I will fool the people. He will have hot blood. He will build walls of protection. And the economy shall change rapidly. The Lord says, I'll put at your helm two terms. I'll put him in the office and I'll baptize him with the Holy Spirit. They shall cry, impeach, impeach, impeach. But I shall not let it happen. This was on April the 4th, 2007. And the prophecy came true. But sadly, Reverend Clement passed away just a couple of weeks after the 2016 election on November the 24th, 2016, he got to see the prophecy that he did in 2007, some nine years prior, he got it to see it come true, that Trump was elected into office. But sadly, he's not was not around to see the president become a praying president, the president building walls of protection, 
the economy changing rapidly. He shall have two terms. I do this video. I usually don't do videos like this um, because the non-believers have a lot of problems with, with ministry ministers and ministries and prophecies. You know, they don't believe in God to begin with. But I want to tell you something. I've heard a lot of prophecies in my life. Um, I've seen some come to fruition. Uh, some I haven't. But I've never seen a prophecy that's been so far on the money, bang on the money, as what Reverend Clement prophesied it back in 2007. He'll be a praying man. He will have hot blood. Trump's got hot blood. There's no doubt about it. He'll build walls of protection. He's doing that. The economy will rapidly change. Well, we all know that's happened. And the Lord says, I will put him, I'll put at your helm two terms. And as Ken Clement said, they'll cry and peach and peach and peach. But the Lord says, I will not let it happen. That was nine years ago. And even though he did not get to see the complete prophecy unfold, or at least most of it so far, he's with the Lord. But I think it is just fascinating because so many people today that do not believe in God and won't accept Christ. They don't want to believe that there's a God and yet there's so many things like this that's right in front of their very eyes. Now some will just write this off as just luck or whatever, but I mean, come on. You know, to prophesy a man's going to run for president nine years prior, who's never ran before, and who's got hot blood, he build walls, the economy, everything. And then for him to say they'll cry and peach and peach and peach, which is all they've done for three years, and now they're attempting it, which it's will not going to happen. So for, I know some people out there are upset and angered and this and that. Don't be. Trust in the Lord, okay? Trust in the Lord. I believe, and I've said this several times on this channel, I believe the Lord put that man in office. I truly do. I truly in my heart believe he put that man in office. Trump's not perfect. Remember, I've said this before, and the Bible says God will use whomever and whatever he needs to get the job done. It's not always a born-again Christian that's on fire for the Lord that the Lord will use. Yes, he'll use them many times, but he'll use whomever. He'll put whomever he needs in place to get whatever he wants accomplished. Accomplished. And in this case, it's Donald Trump. Now you look at that, you know, and you hear, you see, you know, where he talks about 9-11 and the gatekeeper that watched over New York at that time, which was Rudy Giuliani, who was the uh, mayor of New York City, and he really brought that city back. Nobody can say he didn't. And, and then to say, you know, he'll once again become a watcher over the nation, you know, he's protecting the president through legal means, being his legal counsel, his main legal counsel. I mean, this this is just incredible. I actually had to go back. I planned on doing this video today anyways, prior, uh, but I actually went back and re-watched Ken Clement give this prophecy in 2007 because I wanted to make sure that what I remembered, you know, because it had been a while, probably a couple years since I first came upon Ken Clement, and, and seen this, I, I wanted to make sure. So I, I wrote down verbatim what, what he said because I did not want to misconstrue anything that he said or, 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 or put something out of context or, or just I wanted to get it verbatim. 
And, and I watched and I listened to the power that was coming out of that man's mouth as he was prophesying way back in 2007 that this was going to occur. And you know it has. And it's just proof once again that there is a God and He did send His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. Now, this is just one of many prophecies that this man has, has put forth. He put another one forth in 2014 that I'm going to do another video on, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but I'm going to save that one for another day because it is, it's good. It's really good. But today, since all of this impeachment hubbub is going on through the TV and on the radio and just about every medium you turn on, or listen to, uh, I thought today I'd go back nine years and read the prophecy of Reverend Ken Clement, as I said, who's no longer with us, but did get to see this come to fruition, passed away two weeks later at the age of 60. That's something, isn't it? Gave this wonderful prophecy, and then many more after, before Trump even became president, and before he even announced the one in 2014, President Trump hadn't announced he was running for president. He gave a wonderful prophecy about that. But they do all that and to at least get to see the election come true. And then he passed. The Lord took him home. That's just, it's incredible. It's incredible. Uh, if you don't believe me, and I know it is hard to believe, especially for someone that doesn't believe in God that may come across this video, just look it up. If I found the video on YouTube, Ken Clement, April 4th, 2007. Wow, it's incredible. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget next week I'm going to be overseas and we'll be doing some special videos over there. So tune in for that. God bless you. Subscribe below if you like. Hit the like button if you like. If you don't, you don't. I don't really care. Just watch the video. Pass it on. Good enough for me. Take care. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.